Browder, and I'm going to speak about robots replacing lawyers. Um, I looked at the attendee list and I noticed there weren't many lawyers here, so I hope not to offend many of you. Um, I got into this by accident. When I turned 18 in the UK, I really wasn't a very good driver and received a large number of parking tickets. After about the fourth ticket, my parents said to me, you're on your own, you have to pay for your own fines. So out of necessity, I had to become a local parking guru for myself and my friends. But it quickly became obvious that instead of helping myself and my friends individually, I should create some sort of system to help people automatically. I decided to create a chatbot lawyer. And surprisingly, after about a year of launching this, it successfully appealed over 160,000 parking tickets, saving motorists an estimated $5 million. And all of this made me realize that the idea of automated legal services is bigger than just a few parking fines. So I decided to expand to other areas of the law including helping the homeless claim housing and allowing tenants to fight their landlords. I'm currently working on helping Syrian refugees claim asylum, which is especially important given the current political situation. The main takeaway from all of this is that robots are, are going to, and technology are, is going to consume the legal profession. As a 19-year-old working on my own, I know that there are thousands more programmers with decades more experience than me working on similar issues. Thank you very much.